CEDEF, Syndicat des Eaux de de France, is responsible for providing safe drinking water to 4.5 million users in 150 municipalities spread over seven departments. CEDEF wanted to understand how they could enhance their resilience to a major emergency on their network, such as the accidental or intentional contamination or breakdown of a major production site, and how they can manage such an event in real time. By modeling the water system of Paris, identifying critical consumption points, distribution points, and pumping stations, planners can run simulations in order to determine the optimal response to any water infrastructure emergency, either before the event or in real time when under real constraints. Pulse, a decision-making tool developed by Cosmotech for CEDIF, responds to this problem by considering a large-scale crisis affecting the water distribution system as a whole. The development and implementation of an ultimate emergency response plan and the specialization of an 8,000-kilometer portion of a CEDEF network to supply water in limited quantities from drilling are the principles adopted to provide greater resilience in the event of a crisis. Let's discover this tool and the many possibilities it offers. After logging in, the user can explore an existing simulation or create a new one. Creating a new scenario involves loading base data such as pipelines, connections, or drill sites, which are provided by the relevant agencies. It is therefore possible to regularly update the data provided to take into account changes as the network evolves over time. All of this data is available to the user. The overall parameters are organized in three categories corresponding to three modeling sections. The identification of new drilling sites necessary to supply the network in the event of a crisis, the identification of the best water distribution points, and the simulation of operational sequences of the network reconfiguration. These extremely varied parameters can be modified, whether it is the daily volume of water to be distributed to each user in the event of a crisis, the performance of the network, or the time at which the crisis begins. Certain elements are better managed by a GIS interface. It is possible to specify particular locations which will remain supplied with water throughout the crisis. For example, we can decide to only supply hospitals, clinics, and dispensaries, not taking into account a retirement center where the residents will be evacuated. The GIS interface allows users to add one or more drilling projects and connect them to the existing network. In the event of a major crisis, the users will not have access to tap water, but instead will be supplied via water distribution points set up by each municipality. The optimal distribution points will be identified during the simulation, based on factors such as minimizing the risks of water use in order to preserve the available resources, the distance to be traveled by users, capacity and number of distribution points. The sections of network whose displayed width is proportional to the real diameter can either be kept in service in order to facilitate the return to normal or deactivated so that they are not accounted for during the simulation. Once the scenario is configured on a real situation or a projection, we can launch the calculations. Let's now view the results in the dedicated tab. We can, for example, observe the number and usage of the new drilling sites their numbers and positioning are determined according to the water demand in the hydrological model. For each sensitive point, it is possible to know the volume consumed in liters and the origin of the water produced as a function of time. Let's select a particular distribution point. We can see the population supplied, the origin of the water, and the distribution of walking distance for the population. The zone covered by the distribution point is visible on the map and the buildings are colored green. The visualization of the network status allows us to know what time this distribution point will be ready to use and how the network will be reconfigured. By clicking on Display Overall Results, the overall distribution of the walking distance for the whole population is displayed. By filtering this distribution, it is possible to verify the optimization criteria and to identify the valves to operate for the implementation of the plan for each municipality. Information on the network is also available, such as the network length's water flow. The user can then download the operational plan for handling the valves by team. Both ahead of and during a major crisis, Pulse makes it possible to prepare and compare the implementation of multiple emergency plans, enabling the various stakeholders to make optimal decisions. During a crisis, it makes possible a planned and tested response a controlled transition from normal to emergency mode, always guaranteeing the supply of a minimum amount of drinking water throughout the duration of the crisis.